Oh. Uh, Moosey without sprint active is 296 right now. party this fight. Um, this is I don't even know what the other guy had yet. was three. Oh, it's just the wizard. It's a naked wizard. Dude, I'm gonna have so- how am I- how am I gonna loot all this gear? Oh no, they're all loaded. Uh, okay. Oh my god, every single player was looted. Was, uh, was geared. I- like, I- I don't know what the- I don't know what the drop and take. It's all so good. Hey guys, how's it going? Firebox here. I want to show you my brand new PDR race car fighter build. This is going to involve building yourself to 296 move speed base. With weapon out, we're hitting 109% move speed and pretty close to cap without it. We're also hitting 60% PDR base. With the shield, we're hitting about 70% PDR total, which is absolutely insane. I made some improvements since the last video including adding some additional health totals and just slightly increasing our movement speed. I also added a win last because I noticed that the Recro Bow wasn't really getting a lot of value. I wasn't really having time to use it. And the win last crossbow, if you land the shot, does insane damage. So that said, let's go ahead and get into the build. I made a lot of money running this build. I want to say in about two hours, I made at least 20,000 gold. I shipped 5k over to my wizard, bought some keys, bought some gold bags. And I still have a lot of extra trinkets to sell. They just take time, unfortunately. The uh, marketplace is a little bit slow when it comes to very good items. That said, I want to go into the build a little bit, go over every single piece of gear that I have, the reasoning for it. And then I want to go into some of the matchups in game and give you some advice on how to deal with those. For my gear, I'm going to stick with the Rondell Dagger. I would recommend trying to find additional weapon damage and or HP total. Health scales very well with this build. 70% PDR is no joke. Every single point of health you get is going to make that much of a difference, not including when your second win pops. You're also going to heal more HP total from that. For your buckler, I would recommend getting a double roll for armor and PDR. If you can't get it because everybody's buying them or they're too expensive, just stick with a physical damage reduction or just the armor roll, whichever one you can find for cheapest is fine. I've been experimenting with the Crusader Helm because not a lot of people are using it and it does give you quite a bit of action speed. You can also consider using the Chapel de Fur instead. The difference is this is a heavier helm. If I were to swap over to one of my Chapels, you'll see here that I lose about 2% PDR total, but I do gain 4 movement speed. So you have an option to build a little bit faster at the cost of some PDR. 
I'll let you decide whether you want to use the Crusader Helm or the Chapelle. Either way, what you're looking for is the armor rating and any kind of health total because that's really what's going to help scale your build to be good against other melee classes that don't use magic. Fine Curace has seen some new life in this meta. For me personally, I think people are overvaluing the Dark Plate armor. I know that it's lighter, giving you 5 additional move speed, but the Fine Curace gives a lot more armor rating, and it gives 3 strength and 3 vigor, and it's significantly cheaper. This Fine Curace alone is giving me 10 HP and 110 armor, well 130 armor with the additional roll. It's true, the magic resistance sucks, and this build downside is definitely magic resist. But in my opinion, I don't think 10 or 15% magic resist that we would get with Dark Blade Armor is really going to save this build. You're still going to be heavily unfavored against those magic dealing classes, so I've decided to go all in. But you are welcome to use Dark Plate if you'd rather be better against magic users. I just prefer to be better at the matchup that I think this build is already good for. So I'm kind of doubling down and trying to make sure that I never lose any fights against maybe a PDR fighter, a barbarian, a rogue, etc. For your legs, I'm going to go with the loose trousers just because they have very low move speed penalty. I have been experimenting with some other legs as well such as a padded legging or heavy leather leggings. There are some pros and cons of these. If you use the heavier leggings, you obviously will have more PDR total, but you are gonna be slower. And I think the benefit of this build is how fast you are. So really it's up to you to make that decision. Do you wanna have a little bit more speed or do you wanna have a little bit more health total and armor rating? It could also depend on where you are at as far as your physical damage reduction scaling goes. Remember, the closer you get to 75, the stronger you're gonna be in a fight. So it is possible that if you can reach that 75% total using slightly heavier clothing, it might be worth considering. For my shoes, I opted to go for a lace turn shoe, but just like before, I have been experimenting with others as well. Buckled Boots gives you that max HP total, and they seem quite cheap in the marketplace. Rugged Boots are not bad either, giving you extra health if you can find armor rating and or movement speed rolls, that's ideal. Plate Boots are probably not worth running. The armor rating is nice, but I don't really like hearing my steps while I'm walking. The only reason I tolerate it is because of my heavy PDR builds. In this kind of build, I think it's kind of nice not having it. Whenever people hear plate, they assume that you're armored. I don't think many people are going to assume that I'm at 70% PDR with a build like this. The loose trousers kind of give the impression to me at least that I'm not that tanky. If I were to throw on a pair of plate boots and heavy leather leggings, things might change and people might be less willing to fight me in melee combat. For the gauntlets, I'm going to go with light gauntlets. It's possible that heavy gauntlets are better here, but I got to tell you, no one is using these right now. True physical damage is what you're looking for on this roll. And they're just so cheap compared to the heavy gauntlets. I think I paid roughly 100 to 150 gold for every single pair of these gauntlets that has armor and two true physical damage rolls, which is extremely strong. The minus magic resist kind of sucks because we're already really far down as far as our resistance goes. But if you're looking to build a kit that isn't super expensive, it is a really good alternative item. For your cloak, you're going to be looking for two true physical damage. And if you can find move speed, that's even better as well. This is really an optimal cloak getting health, true damage and move speed. For your rings, again, you are looking for true physical damage. Obviously, it would be better if I had two true damage, but the three additional move speed that I found on this ring was too good to pass up. And I have a ring of survival. The resourcefulness isn't good for me, but the two true damage and the three max health makes it worthwhile. You don't always need your primary stat to be beneficial to you. Sometimes you can find items in the marketplace that has really good rolls but a bad main. So for example, the Swing of Survival, three health is the equivalent of some vigor. 
and then the two true damage is good as well. If I were to find a Vigor Ring with this instead, it would be significantly more expensive than what I had found on the market. So this is something that you can keep in mind while you're hunting and looking for different clothing in the marketplace. For my necklace, I'm going to be going for the Frost Amulet. This is just a really convenient item because I can look for just true physical damage reduction. Right now, you cannot look for double rolled items in the marketplace. Until you can, I think the Frost Amulet is a really good option. What you're looking for is the three true damage and then the armor or the PDR. If I had to find a different necklace, this would be a good example. This monkey pendant has physical damage reduction and true damage rolls on top of it. So you have to double roll an amulet in order for it to be usable for this. As such, you have the option to just find a frost amulet and just find one roll. It just seems way easier. And of course, I have my Wimlass with physical damage bonus to try to make up for the fact that you do lose that 10% damage with Weapon Mastery. The Wimlass really catches people off guard as far as the damage goes. I think even with this build, only at 6% physical power, because most of my damage is true, it's dealing about 115 damage headshot. That is enough to completely change a fight, not even considering the fact that it also has armor penetration on top of it. Now that we've gone over the build, I want to go over some of the matchups, the good ones and the bad ones. Let's go ahead and start with the bad matchups. The ones that you don't want to face are Wizard, Warlock, and Cleric. Cleric is more manageable. If you can catch them not buffed and you don't get hit by Holy Strike, you absolutely can kill them. If they pop Smite, you need to back away because they will kill you instantly. But if you keep just enough distance away from them, so they can't rebuff and heal themselves, you are fast enough to keep up with just about every cleric outside of the race car clerics that not very many people are running right now. But PDR cleric, I think you can deal with them with this build. The most important thing is to make sure that you are fighting them at the right time and not in a big open room. And that goes the same for warlocks and wizards. If you try to fight them in a room that has a lot of open space, not a lot of cover, you are just going to lose. This build is not made for magic resistance or magic at all. So my recommendation would be to stick to the hallways, stick to the outer portions of the map, and try to pick your fight smart against those magic users. But at the cost of having to deal with that, as far as that goes, you are really, really strong against every single physical damage dealing class. And I would go as far as to say that I think this build is also favored against other PDR fighters, just based on my personal experience. Because we are running so much true physical damage, we can completely ignore the armor rating of those PDR fighters, and we are swinging significantly faster with a dagger than they will be with their weapons that don't have armor penetration. I think in theory, you could make an armor pen PDR fighter build that might be able to beat this, but no one's really running it right now, so I'm not really considering it. This build seems to be favored. Also, Barbarians, this seems to also be favored against them as well. Most of them are not running Reckless Attack, which is probably the kryptonite of this build. If they hit you once, you might just lose. But fortunately for you, no one's really running that. They're pretty much all running Rage, Savage Roar, and Achilles Strike, so you should be okay there. Rogue is a pretty easy matchup. They might just run away from you, but you're fast enough with Sprint that you might be able to catch up to them. If a Rogue is running a lot of true damage, it's possible they kill you, but you should be out DPSing them as long as you're trading fairly. Ranger, I think this build is better against Ranger than the other PDR fighter variant is because you have the option to catch up to them with Sprint whereas a regular PDR fighter is far too slow and will have to kill them with a bow or you'll just get kited forever. I have a lot easier time killing them with this build than I do with a traditional PDR fighter. Bards also seem very easy with this build. Even if they Shriek of Weakness you, your PDR is only going to drop by a few percentage points and as long as you pop your second win before the fight starts, you should, in theory, be out DPSing them. A big part of these fights is how much armor pen and how much true damage does everybody have, and people still seem to not have figured out how strong these two options are 
with how much PDR you can gain right now. So until that happens, feel free to use this build and probably just face tank and auto win a lot of your fights. I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. If you're interested in seeing these kind of builds live, I have my Twitch in the description of this video. I'm theory crafting a lot of different types of builds. So if you want to be one of the first people to see it, feel free to check me out there. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the PvP of this video. I hope you enjoy it. My, my win last is reloaded, right? Yeah. I tell you what, if I hit someone with my win last, they are so screwed. There's so much damage. I scared him. All right, well, I, I respect it. GG, Barb. I didn't want to fight him anyway. I don't have my second wind. my bow but gg sir some of this isn't too bad not that his kit was like this by any means but he had some okay stuff I'm afraid if I if I open this door, he's gonna full buff and then he's gonna holy strike me in this wide open room and I'm not gonna be able to kill him. I'm not I'm not gonna It's gonna be really hard to do it. Smite? Well if he smites I back away. Glitched out of the door. The damage he does is insane. I almost, I, man, I almost, I got stuck on the Hydra. That's how you kill a wizard. Ah! 
That's how you kill your literal counter class, by the way. Dude, what a shaft did to me. <gasps> dude, what a... Yeah, that dude would have just completely obliterated. If he hit me one time, I take so much damage, it's not even funny. Unlucky, man. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, man. Yeah, ain't that just tragic? Oh, man. Do I feel bad? Maybe a little bit. Yep. He had some pretty good... Ge that... This guy is big mad. Yeah, this guy is definitely upset. I think those guys are teaming. That's a little unfortunate. All right. Well, what do I do now? Because I'm pretty sure one of those guys teaming had a... Where do you think the ranger went? If I was going to look for specific gear, I'm probably looking for true damage, health, and speed. Those are probably the main things. And armor rating rolls too, of course. I'm literally just trying to kill the centipede. Just trying to kill the centipede. No, he was never going to win that. We have too much PDR. That's what I was saying. This build counters physical and it gets deleted by magic. I am playing the the polarizing build of are you are you do you deal physical damage? If yes, I have an advantage. And then if you play wizard, warlock or cleric, I got to try my ass off to kill you. Oh, you want that win last hurt? Oh, wow, some of his gear was not bad. I didn't expect him to have good gear.
I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like the video. It really helps the channel. Sub for future content and comment below what your thoughts are of this build. And I do want to thank Barty and Kid Brutal for supporting this video alongside my other members. Thank you all. Have a great day.